this stuff's obviously a lot more natural, so they actually mm. help benefit people, get them better. So they don't really like that in the what we uh, call the big pharma world because it's not insurance based, so they're not getting their kickbacks. You know what I mean? Got it. Tell us about peptides. Like, yeah, like so, tell, what, what are they, and how can they make be a better version of me? So the beautiful thing about peptides really is mm. just they're 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 a series of amino acids, almost like a chain, linking everything together. Mm. So. Let's say, for instance, when you work out, most people know what branch chain amino acids are. They're yeah. the building blocks of protein. Most people take their amino acids every day before they go to the gym to help them break down protein to turn that into muscle. Well, okay. peptides are kind of, they're different, but they are they are synthetically derived, but they're naturally already in the body. And what they do is they're called secretogs. So peptides boost or upregulate what's already, in a sense, functioning in your body. So obviously... You've got oral peptides, you've got injectable peptides, um, you know, but they're not, say, steroids or anything like that. Mm. Uh, so the big difference there, you know, for the people out there that don't know too much about it, like steroids have what we call a negative feedback loop. When I mean steroids, I mean like, you know, testosterone. Mm -hmm. So say if I'm taking testosterone and I start taking it, well, my body is going to send signals and say, hey, we're getting plenty of testosterone from an outside source exogenously. Mm -hmm. So your brain will signal your, you know, testicles to stop making your natural testosterone. So then obviously right. if you quit taking it, boom, you're shut down. They call that hypogonadism, mm -hmm. you know, in the male TRT world. Yeah. So that's obviously a bad thing. Then obviously yeah. your libido is going to have issues. You're going to gain weight, things like that. Well, peptides, the awesome thing about them is you can take peptides. And again, they're going to boost you from your natural level of good up to what we call superhuman. Come on now. And that's, the cool thing is about. if you quit, if you stop taking them, you don't crash out like testosterone and go to zero. You'll just slowly come back down to kind of what your natural level would be. But again, most people that take them, you're still going to keep all of the muscle that you gain, mm. the fat that you lost, you know, whatever peptide you're taking, you're going to continue to see those benefits for a pretty good while. And these thing. are legal, right? Correct. So like, obviously they're not FDA approved. Okay. And obviously okay. now, you know, we got uh, the new president coming in. They're going to kick back everything that, you know, the previous ones did to kind of, in a sense, shut that down because everybody in the healthcare industry, you know, they want you to just use insurance and want you to oh, really? yeah. drug after drug, treat symptom after symptom. Next thing you know, you're on 10 medications. Well, you know, this stuff's obviously a lot more natural. So they mm -hmm. actually help benefit people, get them better. So they don't really like that in the, what we uh, call the big pharma uh, world because it's not insurance based so they're not getting their kickbacks you know what I mean got it I mean I think let's say just for, for instance most people out there like cancer mm. I mean it's like a hundred billion dollar business a year they've been coming out with a cancer cure forever you know what mm. I mean if they come up with a cure a true cure and yeah, they have yeah, it yeah. they're just not letting people take it because if they do they've lost all that money my boy uh, Dr. Dominic D'Agostino he does he cancer research right and there's studies that publish he put people on keto and it kills the cancer cells it, yeah because can, yeah. can, so it's like but then the there's a bunch of guys out there that have yeah. different research doing whether it's yeah. keto or like a full vegetarian style diet yeah. with just you know fruits and vegetables that yeah same thing kills cancer cells because obviously it grows more based off of your processed sugars yeah. and glycogen so it yeah, needs you, glucose. yeah yeah it needs glucose so if you starve it out you're going to kill the cancer cells mm -hmm. that's the most simple thing in the world the matrix you yeah. don't <laughs> don't want us to know about these peptides exactly all right so so this peptides is correct correct me if i'm wrong this peptides they can help you get bigger muscles help you lose fat but there's also peptides to help heal injuries help exactly. mental clarity what, what, what are some of the stuff that so you've got you subsets yeah there's all types of different peptides so mm -hmm. again, like i said they're kind of the chain of amino acids yeah well just like when you're a kid putting legos together you can make all kind of shit so it's mm -hmm. you know you can put all these different peptides together they've researched a lot of them for different benefits the most popular one out there i think in the world we sell the most of it is our bpc 157 yeah. And then TB500. Those are two different ones, but in combination, they really, it's its the Wolverine peptide. Like I said, Wolverine can't die. You can stab him, you can cut him, you know, mm. other than just probably chopping his head off, yeah. he can't die. You know what I mean? So it's like, they call it the Wolverine peptide because it's incredible. I mean, it heals up injuries. So let's mm. say you you went to the gym tomorrow yeah. and you tore your meniscus in your knee. Well, mm. we could start doing BPC, TB injections in the knee, more than likely four to six weeks later, that injury is going to be healed up. Rotator cuff tears. And well, um, how long would that take without, like, not if you just like so a lot, a lot of the time, they would need surgery. You oh, can even really? avoid surgeries. Yeah. A lot of guys with meniscus need to have microscopic surgery. My dad's an orthopedic surgeon. They'd go in and mm. obviously like scope it, debreed it, which means kind of clean the area up, get the yeah. debris that tore off out of there so it doesn't catch. Mm. You know, you would need at least something like that. And a lot of time you can, yeah, do BPC, TB500 together and for a certain get, amount of time. And they get healed faster. Exactly. I mean, I tore my, uh, my quad. Oh, two really? years ago on the side. I mean, black and blue. Mm. Uh, hey, yeah, it's a stage two tear. Doesn't need surgery, but I mean, it's if this is a natural muscle together, 
it's torn almost all the way kind of the edges. Not fully apart, but like right hanging on the edge. Yeah. You know, they're like, hey, three to six months to be 100%. I mean, I was back in the gym doing 135 squats in four weeks. Yeah, Cause, cause four you weeks. The, the, and the I was injecting peptides. in the peptides every day. Uh, so well, let me ask a question. So I used to do a lot of like calisthenic stuff, you know, like bar stars, and like a, right. a lot of that stuff. And I, so I muscle ups. Oh, it kills the elbows and wrists and joints. Man. And yeah. then I got kind of heavy. You know, like I, I put on a lot of muscle and I was and I was showing off, I was doing the human flag where you grab right. a pole and hold yourself sideways. And I did that like this and my fucking bicep. Just tweaked it. Bro, I, I went to the emergency room. Yeah, I thought that, you tore it or I something. Yeah, I didn't tear it, but yeah. it's never been right since mm-hmm. then. So you're telling me if I take this stuff, it'll, it'll, it'll heal up? Yeah, exactly. So if you've still got some residual yeah, issue, do. damage, scar tissue, it can kind of help. Number one, the biggest thing with that would be getting rid of the pain if you're still just having daily pain when you train. You just, know? It's, it's, it's yeah, discomfort vague. more so. Yeah. I, I had I had uh, stem cells, not stem cells, it was uh, the other thing. It's like stem cells, but it's not. PRP. But yeah. they, they couldn't get the, the actual stem cells, so it was something else, and they, and they, they they put that in there and it was better yeah. but it's not healed but yeah exactly i mean the the bpc tb combo that heal that right so, up. i mean you know the biggest benefits from it is going to be you know if you have cortisol damage yeah. or adrenal insufficiency which means your adrenal glands control some of your blood sugar mm. sleep regulation how tired you feel i mean it heals that up gut damage pain obviously it's like tendon a, it's damage like a panacea it's for just, everything. yeah it's just it's just all again wolverine peptide it's going to just heal you up it has a ton of benefits but i mean what side of the biggest is that one. Realistically, in my opinion, none. I mean, really? overall, generally, peptides, just like if you took a supplement too much, I mean, potentially mm. over a really long time, you could have a little bit of issue with your kidneys. You know, if you're healthy, you're drinking water, you're eating proper, things like that, you're not really going to have any negative side effects. Uh, the biggest negative side effect from some of the peptides would be just when you do your injection, you might get kind of flushed feeling with mm. something like the CJC 1295 Ipamorlin mix. You'll kind of just almost feel like you took nice and you'll get kind of a little tingly feeling, almost yeah. Like yeah. you take pre-workout, I'm sure you get that nice and yeah, flush. I like that. Feeling. You get that feeling for yeah. four or five minutes. That's how you know you took it. You're like, yeah. Oh yeah, let's go. I, so kind of leading into that one, the CJC Ipamorlin is an awesome one. We got, we got, we got, we got the the BPC one five seven TB five hundred. That's again, that's a combo blend. It's two different ones, but again, synergistically, they're amazing together. That's right. Wolverine. The CJC twelve ninety five. These who comes up with these names? <laughs> the R two D two. Like you said, if you start calling out the chemical names, they're so long, and yeah. you know that you're just like. What? Most people layman's terms aren't going to know. CJC 1295. And what does this do? And that one, again, there's a DAC version and a no DAC. So ours is a no DAC. <laughs> it means it's it changes the half-life. If people know what half-life is, it's mm. how long it's in your body or i.e. your bloodstream mm. before it gets out. So like, but what's, the, what's the purpose? The purpose of the CJC 1295 Ipamorlin mix is going to be... To me, that's the end all be all peptide. If you're a starter, you want to start with a peptide, that's the one for growth hormone. So it's a growth hormone oh. secretog. So it's going to increase growth hormone levels, which is going to help with deeper REM sleep, better mm. recovery, obviously better workouts. Huge thing is going to be hair, skin, and nail health. Massive amounts of collagen produced. So it's going to oh, really? obviously reverse the aging to an extent. So, oh, so it's anti aging. Exactly. As well. So CJC of Moreland, in my opinion, it's kind of the end all be all. If you're starting, boom, that's the are, first one. Are women one. taking this? Oh, like- women. Yeah, it's safe for men and women. Incredible for them. Again, same thing. No. So people. So I, I would imagine there's some people taking that one just for like beauty stuff. Exactly. We ha- we have one specifically formulated. I told you about earlier. We'll get into. Yeah. It's like the end all be all for anti aging. But yes, a lot of people take the CJC of Moreland for just the women love it for the anti aging and fat loss. Obviously. Oh, and so how how long would it take you to start noticing the effects? Now again, I can't speak for everyone's product because mm-hmm. of obviously quality, potency, purity, yeah, yeah. things like that. Yeah, ours. I mean, uh, this um, fitness influencer pro bikini uh, woman the other day. She purchased a bottle. She'd taken peptides in the past. Mm. You know, she was using literally like this, the CBD, all kinds of substances to sleep. Okay. Just to go to sleep at night. She took the CJC 1295 in the morning. I said, look, the first night, don't take any of those other supplements you were taking. Just do the peptide. Because again, it helps you get into REM sleep, mm-hmm. deep sleep, all that. She took it. I mean, she was like, Dr. Russ, that was the best sleep I've had in like nine years. Incredible. Really? I woke up. I feel amazing. So again, you're going to notice results from these peptides almost immediately with a lot of them. Wow. Um, that's what I love about them. I mean, you just, you know, like I said, you inject the CJC, you're going to get that flush feeling. You know it's working. And then obviously you take that one before bed, you know, that we recommend taking Really? It. You could do it pre-workout or before bed. Depends on kind of the program that wherever you're getting it from, whichever doctor's prescribing it, et cetera, how you tailor your program. It's going to be a little different for everybody. But yeah, I mean, at night, it's 
it's incredible for sleep. You don't really get any negative side effects. You know, for me, I've tried CBD, Delta, and all that. I don't like the the, the body experience I get or just the grogginess the next day. You I know, just, things like that. I, I remember, man, I fucked my back up. And I and then I was at some fitness expo and I met this com these people who had like a CBD company. They gave me some drops. Yeah, the And droppers. they gave me the the thing to the rub cream, on. yeah, the topical. And, yo, the next day I felt perfect. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, yeah, and they do. Yeah, they can so. work and work. But you're saying this works better than that and it has more benefits. Exactly, in my opinion, it does. And like I said, yeah. it depends on what you're really therapeutically wanting to use it for. Mm. Obviously, CBD locally on an injury side, or like I said, taking it to sleep is good, but you're getting a plethora of benefits from you know the pet yeah. guys. Like I said, it's not just one thing. Like I said, you're getting sleep. You're and getting collagen. So like, how long did it take people start looking older? I'm getting old, man. I want, <laughs> I, want to, I want to ride out this influencer shit as long as possible, man. Would this slow down my aging even more? Oh, big time, yeah. And like I said, we can actually reverse it. I know a lot of people, you know. Oh, oh shit, really? Yeah. And it's testable to show it. And there's no side effects for this shit. I don't want to guarantee that. Everyone's yeah, a little everyone's different. different. Like you said, obviously, age. obviously, if you already have, if you've got cancer, if you have a yeah. kidney disorder, something like that, I'm not saying that you wouldn't potentially have problems with it. But if you're a healthy individual, yeah. there's next to no side effects, no worse than taking a bunch of oral supplements or something else over the counter. You Advil every day that's damaging your liver. It's definitely no worse than things like that. Because yeah. again, most people get scared of it because they're like, oh, it's a peptide. There's and you got to inject it. There's none of research and you're injecting you gotta inject it. all of these, right? Exactly. It's a subcutaneous injection with a little bit of insulin needle, just like if you had diabetes and you're okay. injecting your insulin. So again, it's like a mosquito bite. You don't feel it. But yeah, yeah people sometimes get kind of thrown off by that. And they're like, well, it's injectable. It's, yeah. There's no way it can be safe. And I'm like... Okay, you know, but and some people are just scared of needles, you know. What I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so there is obviously oral versions of the certain peptides too. So uh, that's an option for the the goers that okay. don't like needles. Oh, right, give me give me some more peptides and some more shit. Our Tessamorlin is one of our other top sellers. Obviously, really good product. So what is that? It's similar to the CJC Epimorlin, but the Tessamorlin again another growth hormone secretog, but it specifically targets the adipose tissue or the fat cells in the abdominal area. Really? So again, when you inject that one, it's going to burn fat specifically around the abdominal trunkal area. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've, I've always yeah. heard as a trainer my whole life that you can't burn fat in one spot. I mean, not naturally, uh. but again, <laughs> when you take the, yeah, the testimonial is, it's, dude, it's crazy. It's one of our top sellers, but yeah, it's going to, it targets the fat cells in the abdominal area. And the thing I like about it for like bodybuilders or big guys like me or you, mm. you know, we love to walk around having that pump feeling yeah. filled out. Cause again, you're keto, you don't eat carbs. So for yeah. you, it's a little harder in my opinion, I think to get pumps in the gym. Cause you don't have as much of that glycogen storage, yeah. but you want to get that in the gym. You want to look pumped up all the time, veins mm. showing. So testimonial is incredible for that. I mean. The pumps are out of this world. I mean, like you people who take pre-workouts and all these citrulline, L-citrulline and arginine, they're trying to get their pumps in the gym because obviously the more blood flow to the muscle tissue, yeah. the more it grows, the more nutrients it gets. So the testimony is like the king at that. For really? Pumps. It's incredible. You inject and fat it, loss. Fat loss and pumps. So again, it's huge for muscle building. To me, it's like it's like one of those, it's 50-50. It's like 50% fat loss, 50% muscle building. Oh, it helps you build muscle too. Okay. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. All these growth hormone peptides are going to help you put on lean muscle mass, burn body fat, but just... Like I said, certain ones are, you know, obviously synthesized to do certain things. So the testimonial yeah. is hugely for the abdominal body. Is there anything to help with like mental clarity and or oh, intelligence? Yeah. Can you make me smarter with a peptide? Semax, S-E-M-A-X. That peptide, I mean, they, they have a bunch of studies on it. Yep, it's for cognitive ability. It can help fight Alzheimer's, dementia, things like that. Pretty awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, even Parkinson's a little with, with things of that nature. Again, they're still doing a lot of studies on these peptides. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's ongoing research every day. I took it. I mean, it's like taking Adderall. I've oh, yeah. taken almost every peptide. Yeah, yeah. Test you said it's like Adderall? Yeah, the Cimax. I mean, I had to take half dose. Now, the negative side effect on that one, I would say, the only thing I noticed is I get a little bit of a headache with it. Mm. But I think it's because it's so strong. I mean, it's like making super... Your, making your brain better. Yeah, it's like mental clarity, uh, cognitive abilities, definitely super focused, like I was saying, taking ephedrine, you know, and caffeine. Yeah. Jack, dude, we're counting the wrinkles on our steering wheels because mm. we're so locked in. It's, it's that like feeling, that. and it's a peptide, um, but obviously are, much healthier for you. Are there people taking it for, like, just work, like stockbrokers or fucking traders it, and yeah, shit like exactly. that? Yeah, exactly. You, know? you can take it almost like you said more therapeutically you, you may not necessarily need it because you're not old like me mm. you just want to function more efficiently and have the top of my game exactly yeah you wake up in the morning boom take your smacks all day long you're locked in you know what i mean really? making money coming up with new ideas it'll make you more creative it's the it, one i'm most interested in yeah the yeah, smacks yeah. is pretty awesome shit bro it's, it's, yeah. it's fire you uh, just gotta be careful with it because it is really strong how long it lasts? Like, i just took half a dose I, I was doing the full dose it was too strong too strong too, too much because i'm really sensitive though too yeah i don't do caffeine and things like that so, oh so you know so you probably be fine with the full dose i take like a thousand milligrams 
milligrams of caffeine every day Jesus, for fun. I could take two, three hundred. I'm, I'm, I'll be jumping out of the building right oh, now. Oh, those like, rookie numbers. You got to pump those numbers up, man. Yeah. Those are, yeah. So, Yo, listen, where can people find out more information about you, brother? So my handle's at Dr. Russ, D-R dot R-R-U-S-S. Uh, Obviously, you click my link tree. I've got my website for my uh, peptides, which is vitalpeps.com. Yeah. If you want to go to one of my clinics, let's say you wanted blood work, we can actually we have concierge phlebotomists that literally come directly to you at your business or your oh, home. Wow. Uh, that's vitalforceal.com. Yeah. Um, we're actually in the process now. I've got contracts, waiting, attorney stuff. We're trying to get another clinic open down here in Florida. So we do telemedicine out of Florida, but we don't have an actual uh, location. So I'm doing the peptide company, obviously more mm. uh, wholesale, online, and then, uh, you know, more telemedicine down here. That's why I moved down. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're basically spreading out this year. We're scaling now. It sounds so. good, brother. Listen, man, this has been another episode. Y'all make sure y'all tap into the homie. 